Midnight Oil with Naked Flame. This is the CBT guitar lesson for none other than Damien. The, definitely the, the oils guy for these CBTs. Standard tuning in this. Another great song, Damien. Let's jump right in. Both guitar parts. Um, this is Zero Seconds In, Section 1A, the part I just played. Um, you can experiment with fingering. This made sense to me. 3A, middle finger, palm muted. Okay, That's the only note you're going to palm mute. 3G, open D. And then first and third fret D and G. That's a E flat or D sharp five power chord. Okay, so now same concept: open D, three G, open D, same power chord. Back to the first one. Then move it up a string each. And you're gonna do that. Five times, fifth time, no star. The star happens to be this one. In place of that, we move right into section 1B. 39 seconds in. And... Um, okay, so... Oh, this part's so cool. A lot of great parts in here, Damien. Um, so check this out. Palm mute the first four notes, which is 3D, open one three on the A. Just a scale thing he's doing. And then open one three on the D. Love these chords here. Go 7A, middle, 7B, pinky. Um, then we have, let's see. 7th fret G, 3rd finger, 5th fret D. Just a killer. The minor 6, I think. So we have this. It goes. So we're going to go A, B, G, D. And then move up to um, the top string, 7th fret. Back to the 7B, and then 5, 7A. So that sounds like this. A little tricky with the bass movement there, but... Short rest, and then go B, G, D. Back to the 7E. B, 5A twice. So that second half is... Two times, second time, no star from here. And then seven slide to five on the A. I had to, you know, thank God for this stuff. Because uh, I had it over here and I heard him do this slide and I was like, oops. So I had to transfer it up here. So it's definitely where he's playing it. Once you slide over, though, it's it's pretty cool because it's the same type of thing. You'll go. Pretty much all the same. That'll go twice, second time, no star. Um, 3A doubled up on the end instead of 3A, 5B. All right. And then 58 seconds in, you have some in and out guitars coming in here, which these are really cool. A little tough to hear what he was doing. Um, kind of police, Andy Summers ish. Five on the D, 3G, 4B. So I'm just going to bar with the index over here. I'm going to strum them, pull off to the third fret on the D and B. And then I'm going to go 6D. 5G, 3B. Um, 
Oh, six, five, three, four. Right, so. There it is. And then you'll go 10, 10, 8. That's A, D, G. And then 8, 8, 8. G, B, E. And that goes a bunch of times. Eight times, eighth time, no star. So you would go through the... And you'd stop there on the eighth one, move into the solo at two three two oh three. I think the rest of this is all solo. I'm just gonna kind of moderately tempo go through it. If there's any parts I think I need to explain, I'll emphasize that, which I'll emphasize right here. Tenth fret G and B, third finger, back it with a couple because we gotta bend them both without that B slipping out. Hold it and release it. Then we have this. Now that whammy, or that vibrato is with the whammy bar. Um, if you don't have one, you probably do with all your guitars, but you can manually vibrato it, it's not a big deal. Then check this out. Bend the 10G, hold it, and then alternate pick it. So. Release, pull off to eight. That's a pick, hammer, pull, pull. And then eight or ten D, ten G B, eight ten on the G. I'll go to page three. And back to the ten G bend. Eight hammer eleven on the E, bend it. Thirteen E, two ten timestamp, bend, hold, release, pull to ten. And then we're gonna go. I gotta explain something here. It's a cool rock riff right there. Right here, 13B, two and a half step bend release. That that means you're bending that to that. <laughs> yep, yeah, knock me out. It's a two and a half or four, two and a half steps, which is five frets. You're bending this to this. You can't really go much further than that on guitar unless you have a lower gauge string. Uh, 213 timestamp, we're gonna go like this. 6B slide to eight. And then go eight E and B. So we have 10G, step and a half, bend, hold, release. Taking this to that. Like this so it's um, after that 215 timestamp we have this stuff in there. Moving on. A lot of that going on. And then top of page four. 251 timestamp 1412 GB. So you went. Then we have this. Let me do all that again slower. Repeat from 215 timestamp and end at star. Then come back to 311 timestamp 
We got 14E, step and a half, bend, hold, release. It's really drawn out. Bending an F sharp to an A. Then overdub guitar time. 255 timestamp, we got this. It's a really cool part, by the way. It's an F major arpeggio, three, two, one, one. Then we're gonna go like this. Two E, open B, four D, four G. So we have back to the F. Then we have this. Then back to F. Then we got this. Love that chord. Four four two two. Then we have this. Four times you'll go. Well, wait. Four times starts here. Play a F, but add the three E to it, and go. And then you'll see double dots of this. major to minor. 3E, first fret barred, B and G, 3D. Three times. And then end it with E, B, D. And end it with, at 315, open 7577. Seven, seven. One of my favorite chords right there, by the way. So let me run through this again. Great stuff, Damien. Thanks.